Okay, so the compression is how much? Uh, efficiency of compression is 0 0.8. 0 0.8. 85 or 8? 85. 85. Okay. And expansion? 0 0.8. 0 0.8. What are we given? Determine the compression ratio and you can apply by ER and slope and cost. Okay. Then determine the compressor and combine both per TR. Okay. Determine compressor and combine work per TR. Okay. Now what you are going to do is, first of all, we are going to draw the cycle. Okay. We are going to draw PP and ES diagram. Okay. So first of all, we are going to draw the generalized, the generalized standard PV diagram. Okay. Let us draw it. After that, we will see what will be the effect of efficiency. So these are my ideal cycles, but as there is compression and compression and expansion is having the efficiencies, and these efficiencies are isentropic efficiencies. Isentropic. Due to which, what will happen is when I, uh, when I am going to uh, do the compression. Okay. Now, what will happen is we are going to have isentropic efficiencies. Okay. So, what will Over here, the entropy will be going to increase because it is not, the process is not isentropic. So, whenever there will be compression, the entropies tend to increase. Okay. So, it will move like this. Okay. And in the, because the process is like this. If you ISM move the entropy should increase and over here the process is moving downwards so it should increase from here so it should come like this okay and whenever we are having isentropic efficiencies so what we do is we always draw these lines as dotted lines these lines are uh, drawn as dash lines or dotted lines because these are irreversible process okay and the mahamne kya kara tha jab humne we have taken a polytropic process. So, we have the PMV lines for the SEV draw karithi, but we were having the straight continuous line. Those lines were continuous because the process were not irreversible. Process irreversible line. We have the process kaise hai? Irreversible hai. That's why we are drawing it like this. Okay. Similarly, uh, over here also it should go like this. Okay, so I am writing the points with the, this mark. This is your 2, this is your 2 dash, this is 3, 
this is 4 and this is 4 dash. Now 1, 2, 3, 4 are your actual cycle. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4 is the actual cycle and 1, 2 dash, 3, 4 dash is your ideal cycle. Okay? Is it clear to you guys also? Ashish Madan Saman Maharaj? Ashish Madan? Are you, get, are you understanding or not? Speak loudly. Sir, this display is very small. The display is very small. The display is very small. आपने पार्टिसिपेंट किया हुआ सर मुझे लग रहा कुछ तो सर इसी लिए हो रहा है क्या चीज ओके सो व्हाट दे आर सेइंग इज आपको अगर डिस्प्ले छोटा आ रहा तो उस पे डबल क्लिक करो देन इट विल गेट एनलार्ज इट विल ज़ूम ओके और उसको लैंडस्केप uh, मोड में ले लो रादर देन पोर्ट्रेट सो इट शुड बी क्लियर देन करके देखो सर फिर भी छोटा आ रहा सर हम्म सर मैंने यश के फोन पे भेजा हुआ है सर उसका स्क्रीनशॉट यश के फोन पे भेजा है स्क्रीनशॉट Do one thing, uh, click on the video, okay, where the video is showing you, click on it and pin it. Okay, when you collect gold, you click on touch it. So after that, you have to pin it. When you are going to pin it, it is going to zoom, okay? And if you are uh, going to use screen rotation, then you can have it in the landscape mode. So you will get more enlarged view, okay? Now, once we have found this, now what we are going to do is, we need to find out the temperatures, okay? So what we are going to do, first of all we are going to find 2 dash and 4 dash because we know the formulas for them, okay? So what we are going to write is, that is P2 upon P1, sorry, P2 dash upon P1 is equal to how much? will be P2 dash upon P1 raised to the power gamma minus 1 upon gamma okay? and similarly P3 upon P4 dash is equals to P3 upon P4 dash raised to the power gamma minus 1 upon gamma okay now, we are having these values, so 7 degree centigrade can be written as 280 Kelvin and 37 will be how much? It will become 280 and 30, so 310, 310 Kelvin. Okay, now substitute these values, now we know that this pressure is constant and it is nothing but equals to 4 bar. I am going to write it with another color so that you can see it. This is your 4 bar and over here we are having 16 bar. Okay, now find the values for T2 and oh sorry T2 dash. In Kelvin, and from here we have to find out P4 dash in Kelvin. Just give me the values.
Now, once you find out these values, in the meantime, I, uh, I will write the formula. Now you can uh, see the conversion written as. One point. What? No, it's a thirteen points. One point four seven is this pressure ratio. ये तो आपके ये value आई है. Multiply it with T one. T one से multiply करो. You are going to multiply it with T one. Now this value is coming out to be as one point four eight or four seven. Okay, this complete value. This complete value is coming out to be one point four eight. Okay. Just find out these two values, and after that we are going to proceed.
Okay. So the T4 dash is coming out to be 455.7. Now the important thing is these two formulas. Now for the compression, isentropic efficiency can be written as will I pay attention? This side, yes. Okay. Now we are having the isentropic efficiency of compressor. Okay. So now this value should always be less than one. The efficiencies are always less than one. Okay. So what should be there? The numerator should be smaller and denominator should be bigger one. Okay. So from the this cycle, which difference is more? P2 dash minus T1 or P2 minus T1? Which is more? P2 minus T1. See, you can see from here. Okay, P2 is over here. And P2 dash is over here. So which difference will be more? P2 minus T1. So it should come in the denominator. Okay. So P2 minus T1. And in the numerator we will be having P2 dash minus T1. Okay. Now why is this coming like this? Because whenever we want to compress. Okay. So let us suppose uh, if your compressor is working perfectly fine. अगर आपका कंप्रेसर बिल्कुल सही चल रहा है तो क्या होगा जो Now, up, see, guys, it, it, uh, the compressor function is to reduce the volume, but over here, volume has not reduced that much. Okay, but over here, and yeah, the volume, not the volume properly compressed, work, but over here, the temperature has increased. Okay, so we are getting T2 dash minus T1 upon T2 minus T1. Is that clear? Okay, now similarly, when we go for expansion, okay. Now again, this value should be less than one. So in the numerator, I should be having the lower difference. Okay. Now over here, you can see. Which difference is lower? T3 minus T4 is lower. So in the numerator, I will be having T3 minus T4. And in the denominator, I will be having T3 minus T4 dash. Okay? Yes? Can you ask one? Kuch bhi nahi hai, sir. Hai na? Dekho. Ye formula mein dhyan rakhna. In the, the efficiency will always be less than 1. Ye bhi hamisha less than 1 hoonga. Ye bhi less than 1 hoonga. Okay? Now, this is the efficiency of This is the efficiency of compressor. And this is the efficiency of Expansion. Okay. Now, but efficiency is always less. That means the numerator value should be smaller and denominator value should be bigger. Okay. So from here, I can see that this is my smaller value compression ke case. Mein. So smaller value, smaller temperature difference. Kaun sa hai? T2 dash minus T1. So what will come in the numerator? And the denominator will come in T2 minus T1. ठीक है ये फॉर्मूला याद रखने का तरीका है ठीक है और एक्सपेंशन में जब भी एफिशिएंसी लिखोगे तो यहां पे क्या आएगा आगे ऊपर छोटी वाली टर्म नीचे बड़ी वाली तो छोटा क्या है स्मॉलर डिफरेंस इज t3 t4 दिस इज द स्मॉलर डिफरेंस एंड व्हाट इज द बिगर डिफरेंस t3 t4 डैश तो वो नीचे आ जाएगा ठीक है नाउ इन दिस फार्मूला यू हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ एन सी इट इज गिवन टू यू ओके देन यू हैव we have calculated the value of T2 dash. Okay, then T1 is already given to you. Now you can find the value of T2. Okay, and similarly with this expansion, 
this value is given to you okay then t3 is already given to you t4 dash is given to you you have to find out t4 okay now find these two values substitute all these values over here ठीक है t2 dash की वैल्यू है t4 है now this is your this will be the t1 and this value is t3 and c and uh, f and c of compression and expansion is already given just calculate these two values greater than they go t2 should be greater than t2 dash isse zyada aana chahiye na kitna aa raha hai aapka 149 how can it be possible when this is 412 jab agar ye temperature 412 hai to ye wali kya hai isse zyada hi na ठीक है सो दीज आर दैल्यूज दैट आर कमिंग फॉर द टेम्परेचर नाउ वट वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट वी नीड टू डिटरमाइन द कंप्रेसर एंड टर्बाइन वर्क फॉर पर टी आर ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेशन ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू सब दिस पोर्शन फ्रॉम हियर before that i have to put these values now we know that c1 is what is how much c1 is here 80 kg okay then uh, what i require is to put 
I will be needing this space, so I am going to rub it. That's why I am writing it over here. P2 dash is 412. Okay, P3 is given to us as 310 Kelvin. Okay, then T4 is 223. 223.8. And T4 dash is 4. Just a second. What is the value of T4? T4 dash will be 49. Write it down and find the value. Uh, 
Compressor work and expansion work per TR. Okay. So compressor work per TR is equals to mass per weight of air per TR into CP of air into they are talking about uh, compressor, so we are going to say. E to minus E one. Now this formula we use only when the formula we are using. When we are having isentropic efficiencies involved. Okay. Otherwise, if the process is isentropic, then we are going to use the work done formula for isentropic process. Okay. But now what is the process isentropic? It is not isentropic. It is having efficiencies involved. Okay. So what we are going to find out? We are going to find out uh, by the formula that work done is equal to the heat transfer. Okay, specifically, this is the heat transfer. So, just the heat transfer will open the market so that that will come out as the work transfer. Okay, that's why uh, that is how we calculate. Okay, so we are having all the values and we will get these values in kilojoule per minute. Similarly, we are going to find out expansion work. Per TR, I am going to be able to do mass per weight of air into CP and hold down the temperature difference between E3 minus E4. Temperature difference between E3 minus E4 and this value will also be in kilojoule per minute. And to find the COP, COP will be nothing but equals to your because we are using per ton of refrigeration, so I will write 410 upon WC minus WB, whatever value will be coming. Okay, WC is how much? 579. Five seven nine. Madan, what is the value coming for WC? Its value is how much? Madan, Sumit. Five seven nine. Are you able to see this one? ये दिखाई दे रहा है मदन तुम्हें ये वाला फॉर्मूला
Now, this value is coming out to be around uh, 625. Huh? And this is around 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 So, just note it down. Okay, is it clear to everyone? Okay, so I will be ending this session now. Okay, and your next lecture will be of HOD sir, and he will be taking on the same platform. So uh, just join this, this link only. Okay. Is it? Yes, sir. Okay. Sir is going to start the class. Okay, so when he is going to start the class, then you have to join.